All right, let's see if uh, we can get power switch installed on this today. You all know from previous videos, I, I don't really care for battery chargers without power switches. I mean, I get why they don't on a construction site. You plug it in, you want the thing to charge. You don't want to worry about it getting turned off, but... Alright. So... Basic charger. What we are going to do is carefully try to desolder the wire that would represent the narrow. There's the wide plug and there's the narrow plug. The narrow plug typically represents the hot side of things, and the hot side is typically what you switch. Not a licensed electrician. Once again, blah, blah, blah. Try this at your own risk. Be careful. So on and so forth. I'm going to use a desoldering wick to uh, try and pull this off of here. I may need... Didn't think about it. I may need some flux. I'm not sure, but that is a big bead. There we go. Now it's rolling. There we go. Got it out of there. So we still have a big, we got the wire out as you can see, but I still have a big glob of solder in there and I cannot see the hole to get a wire back in there yet so we're gonna try and draw some more of that off there there we go got it so now you can see the hole is uh you can get the wire right back in the hole and resolder it so what we are gonna do if this is cooled off yeah it's pretty good is i am going to gently notice i unplugged it before starting this whole procedure Gently strip the insulation. There we go. Now, I've already uh, put a piece of heat shrink on here to use here in a minute once I get this wrapped up nice and pretty. All right, so the end of this needs to be, be clipped. All right, trying to do too much with too little wire, so let me clip the crappy end off this and let's strip it back just a hair more see what we can do with this all right get that out of there now where's the switch there it is all right that is a hair long as well flux on there Perfect. Looking good. All right. Let's get some. Ooh, that's still warm. Yeah. And what did we just learn about heat shrink? Let the solder joint cool or it'll start to shrink before you get that shit where you want it. There we go. Now we should be able to use our mini torch. And there we go. First wire all soldered up. The second wire cut the length. And soldered into the board. You little son of a. There we go. I'm going to wrap it around this. Right there. There we go. She is soldered in there good and snug. So, next thing to do is carefully put a hole, which I've marked, 
into the top of the case for the switch. I am going to be using a brad point drill bit so that it won't walk. There we go. It wasn't too bad. There. Let's try that again here. This would be up, yeah. Ah, there we go. Much better, but it's still hitting just a smidgen, so let's try. Ah, there we go. Got it. All right, so now let's put the... Damn it. Let's see about the cover here. This ought to be interesting. I'm trying to. I need one more set of fingers. Well, son of a. There. Now it's lined up. You pain in the ass. Well, and now it's missile. Let me get the big kid pliers out. There we go. Power on. Hit the cover. Shuts it off. Uh, close. It's close. Something's in the way. Shh. What is it? It's the green heat shrink. Get out of there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's see what we got. All right, let's get the power cord going here. All right, she's plugged in. Power LED, nothing. Batteries on there. Safety cover on, open. Power on. Power light came on, no smoke, no magic smoke, no non-magic smoke, didn't trip a breaker. Now, let's see if shutting it off works. Power light dies. There we go. I like it. And you can even tell by the cover being up that it's powered on. Later.